we're getting ready to do a management project on a warm season grass field which is native prairie in order to promote the native prairie grass out here every two or three years it's important to run a fire through it it's a natural occurrence on the prairie and to keep woody trees out and that sort of thing you uh you cut breaks and you run a fire through and it really promotes the the native grass and native forbs so we've cut our breaks we're about to get ready and burn here we've got blue stem switch grass and indian grass here we got a good wind so it ought to it ought to burn real well maybe a little too much wind but uh, it'll be exciting so sit back and enjoy we'll take much watch this these two little snakes. I'm going to move them into um, safe territory here where they won't burn. There you go little guys. Wow. At first glance it appears as though we've destroyed the environment. But in fact, we've done the opposite. These fires clear the dead grass and return the vital nutrients to the soil. With all the dead grass burned away, the sun is able to warm the soil, and within just a few days, new young growth will sprout, providing nutritious food to a wide variety of animals. Over millions of years, these prairie grasses have evolved to not only survive, but to thrive because of fire. Without it, invasive plants take over, choking out the native grasses and leaving less food and cover for the animals that live here. That was just a little warm up. Now we're going to light the, the big field on fire. I think uh, we ought to ask Billy, do you want to do the honors? Okay, now that was just like one of my childhood fantasies was to be able to light a fire and just let it go and not have to stop it. So I'm finally going to be able to get to do it. I feel like I should be getting in trouble for this. Unbelievable.
cut down light in the back burn to protect the area that we didn't want the fire to go past. So now that we've really got it to contain, we're gonna light a head fire and let it just run all the way through to where we did the back burn. So this is where it gets really hot. product black scorched earth almost almost all the way down to the dirt which is perfect you know good burn sets the, the cool season fescue back the later you can do it the better off you are that way uh, when the temperatures in the soil get um, get warm enough that native grass has a really good chance so nobody got burnt it was a good burn <laughs>